Welcome back. Today and every Friday, we take a peek at what's happening at the box office. Thanks to Malco Theaters for sponsoring our Malco Movie Minute. And today we welcome back friend of the show, Jacob Smith, to break it all down for us. Hey, Jacob, great to see you. Hey, guys, how's it going? Always good to see you. Yes. Yeah. All right, so first up, we got to talk about this highly anticipated uh, animated feature that's coming out, The yes. Wild Robot, right? Yes. What can you tell us about this one? Yeah, so you actually kind of tipped me off to this one, Jason. This one wasn't really on my radar, but um, it's got Lu Lupita Nyong'o voicing the lead. It's about this intelligent robot that like crash lands on this island, and I think she kind of befriends all the animals and creatures there. So I think it's kind of this mesh of you know advanced technology with nature, and maybe trying to teach us to you know kind of blend those things together because we need both to survive, right? And I will say the animation is beautiful. I know this yes. is based on the number one New York Times bestseller, um, kind of middle grade novel of the same name, The Wild okay. Robot. Yeah. My, my kiddos loved this book. I It missed me. I didn't, it missed I you? I feel like I've yeah. seen it around, like in stores and stuff. Right. I haven't read it. Yeah. But this style of animation, I feel like, is, is really... Uh, Really something to look at. Man. Absolutely. It looks gorgeous. It's supposed to do really well at the box office. It's yeah. supposed to open number one. So, yeah, I definitely will check this one out. I just didn't hear about it. Yeah. But I'm excited and for it. We got to, you know, Transformers 1 was supposed to open last week as yes. number one, yeah. and Beetlejuice kind of yeah. uh, flipped the script. It just didn't do it, did I it? I know. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy for Beetlejuice, but the Transformers movie is supposed to be really good. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that opened a little lower to their expectations, I think. Right. But still, you should check it out. Yeah, I for think sure. it's supposed to be great. Certainly. Mm -hmm. Well, we know that legendary director Francis Ford Coppola has a new movie, one where he put down $120 million yes. of his own money to yes. get the project completed. So, okay, the plot set in modern-day Rome, where a conflict between Caesar, a genius artist who seeks to leap into a utopian, idealistic future, and his opposition at Mayor Franklin Cicero, who remains committed to a regressive status quo, perpetuating greed, special interests, and partisan warfare, so much going on. A lot of going, lot going on. on. Like, I just... Uh, Hard to and 120 what million a of your own dollars. What a gamble, right? A gamble, yeah. That's and I know a, you already have tickets yeah. to see it, so you're helping pay off yes. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to support that. I mean, this guy made The Godfather. He made Apocalypse Now. Like, surely right. there's going to be something great in there. But yeah, he took a lot of the money. He has a wine business. Oh. So a lot of the money came from that. And he self-financed. Apparently, he's been working on this since the 80s. No and way. it's been a lifelong passion project. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I, I did write that he wrote, I read that he wrote the original screenplay back <clears throat> in like 1984 or something. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, apparently, so Lawrence Fishburne is in this movie. And apparently, he can recall Francis talking about it on the set of Apocalypse Now, oh my which goodness. Francis, I mean, Lawrence Fishburne was like 17 yeah. at the time. That so, is wild. wild. Years in okay. The movie. Do you think it's worth checking out? What do you think? I mean, I think so. You know, the reviews are definitely polarizing. I think you're either going to love it or hate it. But I think just I respect, you know, the craft and I respect him willing to put so much of his money mm -hmm. into it to just fulfill that artistic desire in him. Yeah, so I'm happy to support it in any way I can. And he's certainly got an all-star cast. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Finally, Jacob, so they've announced that soon you're going to be able to stream Deadpool and Wolverine from yes, home. And that finally. movie kind of took over right. the summer. Yes. Uh, yes. And it's going to be available for... Uh, paid video on demand starting next week. This is the last weekend for it. Last weekend. Oh my gosh. I feel like the last time I was here was the opening. <laughs> That's which was exactly it. July yes. 27. Yeah. Here we are two months later. This thing is still in theaters. But it's great. If you saw it, it was fantastic. Yeah, it you was. got everything you wanted. It was a crowd pleaser. It was funny. It was heartfelt. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, definitely if you have not somehow seen Deadpool and Wolverine, go check it out. This is your last chance in the theater where it should be seen. And then you'll be able to stream it on digital. Right. I know. Go see yeah. it one more time in on the big screen, and then you can watch it at home. In your also. pajamas. In your pajamas. Yep. In your pajamas. As many times as you want. That's yes. right. Oh, how fun. Yes. Awesome. And I know you gave that one two thumbs up. So yeah. you got to check it out. Two or yeah. three thumbs up. Two or three. As many yeah. thumbs as you can give awesome. it. Right. It has it. Awesome. Well, thanks, Jacob. Thanks, yeah. Jacob. Thanks for, thanks for all you guys. Of course. Yeah.